Operation Dhritarashtra and the fallout. One of the key points made by Salman Khurshid in his press conference today were the pictures of J.B. Singh which he supplied at a donation camp organized by the Zakir Hussain Trust. But what Mr. Khurshid does not say is that the matter under consideration is for the period 2009-2010 whereas the pictures that he submitted are actually of the year 2010 and I'm going to take this up now with Nalin Kohli of the BJP, Shazia Ilmi and Sanjay Jha. But I first want to go to my colleague Deepak Sharma who was at that press conference, Deepak. And most people who are seeing this broadcast would want to know your response on the pictures that were put out by Salman Khurshid because that is key to his defense. You know, Rahul, Salman Saab uh, is with uh, J.B. Singh. Salman Saab is a you know, UP leader of the Congress and J.B. Singh is the CDO, second senior most officer of the main point. They could be on a function, they could be on a dice. The question, the core question is that the checklist and the checklist relates to the release of fund from the union ministry. Now on that checklist, JB has not, uh, JB Singh has not signed. And, and a fake affidavit in support of their argument was given by Ms. Lewis to us saying that JB Singh has given an affidavit. He has signed the checklist. He was there in the camp. When we spoke to the J.B. Singh, he said, I have not given any affidavit, I have not signed. Let's in fact listen to J.B. Singh while he says that. You know, here is this very crucial comment because that's the affidavit that the Zakir Hussain Trust supplied us. And we went back to J.B. Singh to ask him what he had to say. Listen to what he says. When you have seen the mail on the mail, the signature is not my signature. और सीडीओ या जिलाधिकारी एफिडेविट क्यों देंगे मान लीजिए कोई वितरण हुआ तो लाभार्थियों की सूची होगी अपने विभाग जो विकला कल्याण विभाग उसे सत्यापन कराएंगे तो शपथ पत्र देने का कौन सा औचित्य है सो ही सेज व्हाई वुड आई पॉसिबली गिव एन एफिडेविट आई डोंट नीड टू डू आई डोंट नीड टू गिव एन एफिडेविट एंड दैट्स अ की क्वेश्चन संजय झा व्हिच मिस्टर खुर्शी द नॉलेज ब्लस्टर डज नॉट आंसर यू नो ही मेड इट वेरी पर्सनल ही टारगेटेड अरविंद केजरीवाल ही टारगेटेड दीपक बट द कोर फैक्ट्स the fake affidavit, the letters, the signs which were forged, none of them have been answered, Sanjay. Uh, you know, Rahul, I think uh, Mr. Salman Khrushchev today put up a very spirited and a very passionate defense of the fact that all the accusations that have been leveled against him, that one has been hearing about, uh, stand uh, fairly and in my opinion significantly contradicted. I'll give you one simple example. Sure. Let's not miss the woods for the trees here. He's got, he's got the utilization certificate that says that all the equipment that was purchased with the funds allocated has been according to all the documents that have been proven have been spent accordingly. Point number two, it's not just about the photographs of a couple of instances that we're talking about. He says that there is enough documentary evidence to say that the entire coverage of the districts, in fact, exceeds the 17 districts that people have said they were not covered. The fundamental point of today's press conference, Rahul, was the fact that people said that 71 lakhs of rupees was not spent because there was no evidence to prove that there was any effort done to distribute it to the physically disabled and the needy. And that has been completely and I would, I would say very confidently contradicted. Now, as far as the photographic sector is concerned, that you can have one of sporadic, sporadic examples that Mr. Khrushchev, I'm sure, will have an answer for. But the bigger issue is that end of day, these are all audited accounts. And last but not the least, Mr. Khurshid was very categorical that in the case of an affidavit or any letter that, that somebody says is not authentic or is forged, well, he says, listen, I'm a recipient of that document. I cannot comment on it. Let it be investigated by the appropriate state government authority of Uttar Pradesh and let that take okay. its own course. Now, you can't have a more, in my opinion, an explicit statement being made by the law minister. And, and as he rightly says, let the matter then be decided as it should be in an extremely wonderful democracy like ours by a very impartial court. And I would like to take on Arvind Kejriwal's statement, Rahul, because he keeps ridiculing in a very cynical fashion the entire democracy of India. He says Salman Khrushchev, if he's a law minister, will influence it. Now, hang on. What if, what if Salman Khrushchev wasn't the law minister and Mr. Kapil Sibyl or Manish Tiwari was a law minister, he would still find a fault with that. Even Sanjay if there was a law Sanjay minister belonging to some other party in the coalition, he can, you can still say that Salman Khrushchev can influence that. So there's Sanjay, no end to an irrational Deepak wants to argument. respond to what you're but saying I think before I bring in my other guest. Rahul, I want to bring out in today's discussion. Sanjay, so, sorry, to, sorry to disturb you, interrupt you. 
my only thing is that you no, think no, it's a, my only argument with you is that you said that uh, uh, affidavit uh, mr khushi has said that affidavit has been sent uh, to the up government or he has not received the affidavit my question is that for whose support for whose benefit this affidavit was signed it was not for up government up government has given a a uh, 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 inquiry and the inquiry says that there has been a fraud there has there is a forgery whose support for whose support this affidavit had been had been made or drafted or forged for whose support that's a very important question for whose that. support and i want to Tell bring me. shazia in shazia because there are lots of broad strokes there's a lot of bluster but when you get down to even sanjay says you know i, I want to make the big points I don't want to get into the small points. It's the small points where the forgery lies. It's the small points where the deceit lies. That's where the cheating lies. That no one wants to speak about, Shazia. Absolutely, there's so much of bluster, but there's nothing substantive or sub there's nothing with substance in what he said. He said three things. I mean, he just discussed the technical nitty-gritties, and you also discussed the you know the the clever way, the sophistry that he used in kind of. Uh, making it appear that he has all the evidence and he had none whatsoever and he didn't answer any of the questions put out by india against corruption and your channel he said something like that we will not respond to the questions by people from the street now he can go for votes to people from on the street is exactly those people he goes to then he said something which i took umbrage to which was they are rented viklangs look at the language look at the vitriol look at the the absolutely vindictive way in his in which he's talking it's absolutely unbecoming and third and most importantly he said something strange today and i don't bear, i don't understand what is the correlation between the rupert murdoch trial and this uh, publication india today group because in that case if you look at it there were actually allegations against rebecca brooks who was the editor of news of the world whereas in this case there are no charges against arun puri or a, a particular group there are charges in fact against his ngo so i don't understand what he was trying to do his back is clearly to the wall he stands exposed he doesn't know what to do he speaks in the most arrogant of ways he's trying to cover up desperately and none of the none of the questions he could not answer concretely to any of those the the question is why were the signatures forged how did the letter why was the letter used with the forged signature so why did he use forged documents and use forged signatures to get funds for the ngo which is why it runs Mr Sanjay Mr Sanjay you have been uh, you know arguing very well uh, as far as the press conference of Mr uh, Salman Saab is going on two questions again there is a letter of March 24 2011 signed by special secretary UP government he recommends 68 lakhs to Dr Zakir Hussain Trust sends this letter to the government of UP sends the copy of the letter to miss louis khurshid okay this letter turns out to be fake forged number one number two there is an affidavit the affidavit says of mr jb singh that the the signatures are not forged he has signed the checklist okay now these two documents which are forged who is the beneficiary of this document who is the beneficiary please answer who is the beneficiary of this document if these two oh. documents are the uh, the disabled people are the handicapped people are the government officers let oh, sanjay respond please to please respond on this who are the beneficiaries of these two letters who have been forged yeah uh yeah deepak let me respond to you very quickly on please, that please. number one let me answer the second part first the actual beneficiaries of all the funds that have been spent by the zakir hussain trust are the people from the physically handicapped community who got access to the instruments that were handed out whether it was twice cycles or hearing aids now the first part now you are alluding by your statement that there was a no, misuse no, of misappropriation no, of no. these funds by the trust which there is no evidence of at this point of time now let let me answer the third part the third part is that this is i heard mr khurshi today speaking to another channel on a, on the same question now he said listen it's very very much possible 
that you are assuming that person X has signed the affidavit and in fact this person second who probably may have signed it. Now if you are going to assume that person A has signed it when in fact it's person B, it will appear to be... Sanjay ji, Sanjay ji, Sanjay ji, no, no However, assumption and presumption please. Just the issue no, please, Sanjay ji, Sanjay ji, don't take me for a ride. Sanjay ji, please don't take me for a ride. The let, let the investigation now the Mr. Sanjay, please don't take me for a ride. I'm saying, I'm saying who no, are no, the beneficiaries let, let of answer. two forged documents? No, nobody. I, I'm Say yes or no. Please, please don't take me for a ride. I have investigated minute. this if, story for one month. Deepak, I can answer Deepak each and every word. It, uh, I'm saying who are the beneficiaries time, there is no of two documents cannot, which turn out to be because forged? Because you cannot sit on judgment and no, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not giving any judgment. I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm. 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 I'm giving you two straight questions. Two straight questions and you are saying assumptions and presumptions. I am saying who are the beneficiaries? Are the handicapped people are beneficiaries? Two documents, two forced documents, one affidavit and one the letter on I which I the grant is being released. I said that at the very beginning. And both the, and and both the officers are on record. Of the trust. Both the officers so are on record. If you today, Deepak, there is an audited balance. Well, let me tell you, this is the point that Mr. Khurshid made today. Number one, he talked about a reverse sting operation that I guess we will we'll see something about it over the days coming, coming days. The second part, the very critical part, was the fact that end of day, these are audited balance sheets. He says, we ourselves have asked for an inquiry. No, no when he asked process. for an inquiry, it was only Mr. after Khurshid we approached him. In fact, this is now in the public debate. domain. Salman and Khurshid and Louis Khurshid approached the Uttar Pradesh government only after they were approached by us. When we informed them about our investigation, they wrote about it only then. Before that, they hadn't written. This matter has been going on from 2010. Do you think, Nalin, that Mr. Khurshid has been able to uh, adequately contradict the aspects laid out by Operation Dhritarashtra? Rahul, I think we need to look at the entire episode in some perspective. And we need to look at it a little dispassionately. If it was a matter of only allegations and counter allegations without support of any kind of documentary evidence, one may have taken a little different approach. But this involves first the law minister of India, the largest democracy in the world. That's one. Two, it involves a sensitive issue involving basically facilities or rights or assistance to physically challenged people. On which it's very unfortunate that the entire debate or entire discussion is not looking at that aspect. We are unfortunately dealing with another aspect of it. That's the second part of it. And the third is that essentially you, your channel is raising the point repeatedly about two documents which is talking about forgery. Now that's something very serious. And I think when it comes to the institution of democracy, it comes to the government, when it comes to the larger question, these are things that just cannot be wished away. They shouldn't be put aside. So I think the stand remains that there has to be a credible independent inquiry to get to the bottom of it. Because at the end of the day, we are also threatening institutions of democracy. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to the UPA government, the track record on anything related to corruption has been far from inspiring. So therefore, it becomes even more difficult for a second if we even say that maybe there is an element of doubt. The track record of the government per se has been very poor on matters of investigation related to corruption. So therefore, it makes it even more difficult. But these two critical inputs related to a, the affidavit being forged, and two, a letter being forged. These are serious allegations. And when it involves the law minister, it becomes a very, very serious issue. So we may debate, counter debate. I think at the end of the day, the nation. But it's expects very convenient, answers, Sanjay. And I think the, the manner in which Mr. Khurshid says he can't answer that. He accepts that there is a problem with the affidavits, the signatures could be forged. But he says he doesn't know who did it and that really throws up very serious questions because one of the other key things that uh, Union Law Minister Saman Khurshid said in his defense was that he produced a person by the name of Range Mistri. Range Mistri is a differently abled person who was shown in Operation Dhritarashtra as someone who said on record on open camera that he did not receive any hearing aid from the Zakir Hussain Trust. Uh, let's listen first to what Range Mistri told our correspondents in Operation Dhritarashtra. मान खुर्शीद के किस आदमी ने भेजा था? उधर कहाँ है? हाँ, उधर। क्यों जाओ? तुम्हें मशीन मिल जाएगी। फिर हम गए थे। खुर्शीद के सुपर ले लिए और नाम लिख लिया। तुम मशीन मिली। Here's this person on open camera saying he received no hearing aid. However, at today's press conference, Mr. came out claiming that he'd received the implement two years ago and had made this statement in the hope of getting more such benefits. Listen to this. 
Means you want to ask his name? You want to, you want to take a shot? ये लोग कहते हैं टीवी पे कहते हैं कि हमने आपको आला नहीं दिया था ये कहते हैं आप बोलिए वो कह रहे हैं आला नहीं दिया था और हम हम सबूत लेके आए कि आला नहीं दिया था आपको क्या बोलना है इसके सामने यू नो ही सेइंग ही डिड गेट समथिंग बट शाजिया व्हाट क्रेडिबिलिटी Does this have given the fact that Khurshid is the Farooqabad MP? This poor person has been dragged here, being brought and presented before the nation, and then you got so many people standing at the back, prompting uh, Range Mistri on what he must say, Shazia. Exactly, and it's uh, Mr. Khurshid talked about uh, rented Viklang. So you know, it's now who's war against who's, like who who is rented and who's not. One has to look at that. But I, I have a bigger question. He said he's ready for an inquiry. Now who'll do that inquiry? the up government the economic offenses wing of up government which is expecting a huge economic package from the center and giving outside support to make this government last or the cbi the prosecution wing is of which is headed by the law minister so it's a bit of a fast really it's very easy now to say that i'm ready for an inquiry but who will bell the cat how do we ensure independent inquiry everybody seems to agree there should be an independent non partisan kind of an inquiry but how do we ensure that How does that happen? Well, absolutely. Given the fact that he occupies this position, given the fact that there are officers on record who say Sanjay that actually trust uh, the funds that this trust get uh, should actually be cancelled, but because the law minister is there, we are helpless. We can't act. That really throws up very serious questions about whether an independent probe can be conducted while Mr. Khushid remains the law minister. Uh, you know you know rahul i think in today's press conference what he did was the way any i would say self respecting man who has complete confidence in his own ethics would do it number one whatever documents facts figures photographs that he had he subscribed it in the public domain today number two where he does not have the documents or where he does not control the outcome of the documents because they have not been directly you know created by him they have not been manufactured by him because other third party are responsible he says listen in all transparency he said let this be investigated there's nothing else he can do there's nothing else anybody on earth can do that's a fact that is a bottom line that you cannot ignore and to answer what shazia elmi is saying about you know this independent inquiry how can we trust it well let me tell you the tragedy with some people in our democracy is that trust nothing you don't trust the judiciary if there is an impartial inquiry mr salman khurshid at some part of the world even though he is in timbuktu he can always make a phone call and influence an outcome right no but why so don't you no answer this question sanjay the, the most discussion. crucial but question no, no, there is a special that. secretary who retired in january he signs a letter on the 24th of march 2011 which serves as the basis for the zakir hussain trust getting uh, funds for the next year now what explains this there is very clearly collusion at every level and checks and balances which should be in place are not in place raising the question is it because of the people involved and the positions they hold yeah, i would raise two points here rahul i completely agree with you that if there is any discrepancy that looks very blatant or flagrant where there's a forgery involved it has to be it must be investigated and i think mr salman khurshid himself has reiterated it twice over it will be the second point that we need not ignore that if we are saying at this point of time that there was a second uh, tranche of allocations being made to the trust surely mr salman khurshid as a law minister as a functioning parliamentarian for a long time knows how the law functions if we are saying at this point of time that he was totally unaware of it and he could have killed it i th i think end of day you know we are being very cynical of a system the very fact that it's happened the very fact that we're discussing something like this in the public domain means that things do work in the government means that there is if there's something wrong it does surface even though you are the law minister you are asked questions so i don't think there's anything wrong with that per se but you know rahul i want to raise one point here in today's discussion you see this yeah, whole you know, concept of the media and government relationship you know it's a classical adversarial relationship you've got it all wrong right, sanjay ji because of the law minister because he elected to elected representative is, because you hold an important office of power that's why you should be asked questions of of that's of, why of a person with a political and people like salman khurshid and what they do you know throwing a lot make of us make us become a, 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 a add to us cynicism you make know, us question the system I, i don't want to take sides it's becoming rather personal but we want to stay dispassionate as dispassionate as we can and say the following things the pictures that were issued today by mr and mrs khurshid 
were actually of a year subsequent to the year in question. Why they did this, I can't understand. It's not for 2009-2010 for which the allegations are being made. It's for the next year and of course as an official in that district, he will be seen with Salman Khurshid at various fora. It doesn't change anything. To bring Range Mistri in, what credibility that has, I leave it to you, our viewers, to decide. You know, he's from Farooqabad, Mr. Khurshid's brought him in. He was on open camera, you heard him, you're hearing what he's saying now, whether or not that's adequate, again, you decide. But the critical questions, the special secretary who wrote a letter after having retired, this is clearly a forged letter because he retired in January, he's writing a letter in March, which allows for the sanctioning of funds to the Zakir Hussein Trust. Is that or is that not done? Again, you decide. And also, JB Singh, who's supposed to have, he promised us he'll join us on this broadcast, but says, Meko bohat phone aare, mujhe maaf kar do, baad mein aap se baat karunga. He didn't come on and give us his side of the story. But he's clearly very petrified because of the people who are involved. But the fact is, he's on camera saying he never signed any affidavit. You know, first he is supposed to have forged his signature. We go to Mr. Khurshid with that charge. We get a signed affidavit, which that officer, when confronted, and you heard it on headlines today, says, I never signed it. The facts are out in the public domain. We leave it to you, our viewers, to decide who's right, who's wrong. And let there be an independent probe. You know, conducted by somebody from outside the system. Because if the system from within tries to probe this, they will all clamp up and we'll never really know what the truth is. So he says, why would I possibly give an affidavit? I don't need to do, I don't need to give an affidavit. And that's a key question, Sanjay Jha, which Mr. Khurshid and all his bluster does not answer. You know, he made it very personal. He targeted Arvind Kejriwal, he targeted Deepak. But the core facts... The fake affidavit, the letters, the signs that you have forged, none of them have been answered, Sanjay. Uh, you know, Rahul, I think uh, Mr. Salman Khurshid today put up a very spirited and a very passionate defense of the fact that all the acquisitions that have been leveled against him, that one has been hearing about, uh, stand uh, fairly and in my opinion significantly contradicted. I'll give you one simple example. Yeah. Let's not miss the woods for the trees here. He's got, he's got the utilization certificate that says that all the equipment that was purchased with the funds allocated has been, according to all the documents that have been proven, have been spent accordingly. Point number two, it's not just about the photographs of a couple of instances that we're talking about. He says that there is enough documentary evidence to say that the entire coverage of the districts, in fact, exceeds the 17 districts that people have said they were not covered. The fundamental point of today's press conference, Rahul, was the fact that people said that 71... Operation Dhritarashtra and the fallout. One of the key points made by Salman Khurshid in his press conference today were the pictures of J.B. Singh, which he supplied at a donation camp organized by the Zakir Hussain Trust. But what Mr. Khurshid does not say is that the matter under consideration is for the period 2009-2010, whereas the pictures that he submitted are actually of the year 2010. And I'm going to take this up now with Nalin Kohli of the BJP, Shazia Ilmi and Sanjay Jha. But I first want to go to my colleague Deepak Sharma who was at that press conference, Deepak. And most people who are seeing this broadcast would want to know your response on the pictures. He was there in the camp. When he spoke to the J.B. Singh, he said, I have not given any affidavit. I have not signed. Let's in fact listen to J.B. Singh while he says that. You know, here is this very crucial comment because that's the affidavit that the Zakir Hussain Trust supplied us. And we went back to J.B. Singh to ask him what he had to say. Listen to what he says. <laughs> मेरी सिग्नेचर नहीं है और सीडीओ या जिला अधिकारी एफिडेविट क्यों देंगे मान लीजिए कोई वितरण हुआ तो लाभार्थियों की सूची होगी वो अपने विभाग जो विकलांग कल्याण विभाग उसे सत्यापन कराएंगे तो शपथ पत्र देने का कौन सा औचित्य है सो दैट वो पुट आउट बाय सलमान खुर्शीद बिकॉज़ दैट इज की टू हिज डिफेंस यू नो राहुल सलमान साहब इज विद जेबी सिंह सलमान साहब इज अ यू नो यूपी लीडर ऑफ द कांग्रेस एंड जेबी सिंह इज द सीडीओ सेकंड सीनियर मोस्ट ऑफिसर ऑफ द मेन पुलिस they could be on a function they could be on a dice the question the core question is that the checklist and the checklist relates to the release of fund from the union ministry now on that checklist jb has not uh, jb singh has not signed and and a fake affidavit in support of their argument was given by miss louis to us saying that jb singh has given an affidavit he has signed the checklist 